So I got to take a moment and clear this up. So many people like to comment that it looks like the tires on my fifth wheel, these Saloon S637s, are bald on the edge here because it looks smooth. Guys, this is what's called a rib tire. And as you can see from back here, it's definitely not bald. Let me turn the light on so you get a little better visibility here. These tires are designed this way. They're specifically designed to have these straight ribs going through it. They're made for highway use and they are ultra high mile tires so they can go for a long time. But just for those folks who thought these are bald, I wanted to give you this perspective of them simply because you need to know how these tires are designed. And again, these are the Saloon S367s. It's an all steel belted tire designed specifically for trailers. These are G rated tires and they are incredibly, incredibly good quality tires. So we are staying at Green Lake RV Resort. This is right outside of San Antonio, Texas. It is a beautiful resort. It's got this really nice pond in the center of it, which is fully stocked with catfish, bass, and perch. Pretty much the perch like to hog anything you throw out there though. But this is where we're at. We're gonna be here for a while, so figured I would do some videos while we're here, try to talk about some things. I would have to say that this is a very, very clean facility. They have all sorts of included amenities, including a pool, hot tub, Again, free fishing. You don't have to have a license because it is a privately owned pond or lake, whatever you want to call it. All sorts of spots that back up pretty much to the lake. They're about 100 feet away, which is nice because it gives you a really nice little backyard area. And I think we pay about 56 bucks a night to stay here. Anyways, just wanted to give you a quick update of where we're at. And if you're in the area, this might be a good place for you to stop by. So guys, I got to show you something really cool that I just picked up. Got this on Amazon for about 75 bucks. Now I was looking for a little portable grill. I have one that came with the RV, but it's really cheaply made. I really don't care for it. Whenever you cook anything, a ton of grease falls down into the bottom of it and it takes forever to clean up. And quite frankly, I didn't like using it just because I dreaded the cleanup process of when I was finished using it. So instead of using that, I went online and I tried to find something that would be portable at the same time relatively easy to clean if we cook some fish on it if we're cooking any type of meat or steaks anything that we cook we wouldn't have to worry about a bunch of grease accumulating at the bottom and then having to clean it up and, and hopefully rodents or anything wouldn't try to get to it while it was outside I came across this Blackstone little griddle this thing is absolutely amazing when I got it in the mail it came pretty much fully assembled the only thing you really had to do was put the little feet on which they simply screwed into place and then put this top piece on top of the burner. I have the top taken off right now just so you can see kind of how it's constructed. The first thing I noticed about this when I pulled it out of the box is just how well it's constructed. I was really impressed with the fact that they give you a really high-end grill knob. Typically this piece is going to be really really cheap and they did a good job putting a good quality knob on the front of it. Secondly it has a nice grease catch right here. And the way they've laid the burner out in an H format is going to make sure you get pretty even cooking on the surface. Now the cooking surface itself is cast iron. This thing is very heavy. This is one of the reasons why the box is so heavy when you first open it. And I was really impressed just again with the quality of it. It has a good coating on it. It is very heavy. It has a lip that extends all the way around the entire thing. Of course it's higher in the back so it's going to catch any type of grease or anything you're cooking with. Then you simply take this cooktop and put it on top of the burners. Now Blackstone makes their own little accessory kit that gives you kind of this scraper as well as a couple spatulas and a couple bottles. I went and found a different one on Amazon that I like better. It was actually a little less expensive because of that. I think their sells for like $35. This one cost I think about $25 and it does the same thing. It has both your little uh, seasoning bottles as well as a scraper and two spatulas. The grill itself is pretty compact. It's only about 17 inches wide and about 17 inches deep as far as the height of it it probably it comes up about eight inches in the back about six inches in the front so it's very very compact but 
17 inch wide cooktop is a pretty good size cooktop and this is going to give you a lot of real estate to cook almost anything you might need to cook out here unless of course you're trying to feed a lot of people and even then you might have to cycle through food that you're cooking but what i also did was I purchased a couple of these extension hoses. This specific hose right here is a four foot hose that converts from quick connect to the bottle style connection that this typically would take. So you'd use those little disposable one pound bottles. Instead, I can simply connect this hose directly up to the grill. Then the second hose I have is a 10 foot extension hose that feeds to the propane line underneath the back of the RV. All I have to do is turn the propane on from the bottom of the RV and then turn it on right here get here you click it a couple times to light it and it's lit I don't know if you can see it under there but it is now lit and it's gonna heat this whole surface up so I like the fact that it has the grease catch right here falls directly into that little tray for disposal this is really cool not sure what's gonna go on it today but we are definitely going to put it to use Again, I just purchased this on Amazon. It was $75. It's the model number 1650, 17-inch tabletop griddle. It comes pretty much assembled. All you have to do is attach the feet and then put this on top. That was it for me. I even think the grease pan was inside of it. it takes no time to set up. And as you can probably see from the heat waves coming off of the side here, it is heating up. Guys, rarely do you spend $75 on something like this and think you're going to get something that is pretty good quality. I'm very impressed with the quality of this. I'd have to say, you know, 1 through 10, I'd give this probably an 8.5 and a half, a 9 in the overall value segment. I could not find anything that really competed directly against it for that price range. This is going to accomplish exactly what we need. If it lasts a year or two, we'll be completely happy with that and we'll just replace it. But overall, this thing is really, really cool. I can't wait to start cooking something on it to see how it goes. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you again soon.